Hi. So, blobs and stringing is a very irritating thing to get on your, on your 3D print. It gives you more post-processing and uh, it's not looking nice and we want to try to, to avoid this. It is not really great. As you can see here on this print, I have some blobs here and they are really irritating me, so I want to get rid of them. So one of the things I want to, to, to start with is to change the settings in my slicer. But how is this uh, stringing, especially the blobs coming up? Well, it's mainly when you have a Bowden tube and the filament has to, to go through the tube itself here. And while it's doing that and while it's printing and getting heated up, it builds up a kind of a, a pressure in the tube. So when the printer stops in a loop, it will go like boom, it will release a filament, so it comes up here. That's where we are using retraction, that's where we are using uh, coast ends and so on. And this that retraction does it like that, it will retract the filament and then it will push it back again. Many slicers have several options to avoid these blobs and uh, stringing. So let's take a look on it and let's try to do some adjustments to, to the alpha and print it again. And let's see how perfect we can get it to, uh, to a, a finished print with very minimal uh, post-production. So let's go to the slicer and uh, take a look. So I think most of the slicers has some adjustments you can do um, to avoid uh, stringing and the blobs. Um, I use Simplify 3D and I've done that since years. So um, let's take a look on it and in my case it is when I come to, to the extruder. And as you can see here on the first print I showed you, I have used uh, these retraction settings to uh, to get uh, try to get rid of it it doesn't work perfectly so i also want to look on this coasting distance so what does coasting distance mean it means that it will not push more filament through the nozzle in a given distance before the end of the loop in this case here we see it's uh, 0 0.2 millimeters before the end of the loop so let's, I will start from scratch here, so I will, I will remove the check mark from, from the retraction, so I only have the coast and uh, distance, and it's standard here with uh, 0 0.2 millimeters, so let's try do a print with that. So the print is done, and as you can see, there is no blobs anymore, so definitely the blobs has to do with the retraction, but I got stringing and especially here on my travel ways. Every time it travels it makes the stringing and the picture is exact the same as it is in the slicer when I, I take a look there. So I definitely need to either increase the coast end or add some retraction as well. So let's try to combine this a little bit and uh, add some uh, at the retraction again and see what's coming out of. So I want to add the retraction as I have here. And uh, yeah, let's do the print again and see how far we come. So the second print, man in fact came out very well, but when I added the retraction, I get some few blobs as well here again. And I don't like that, so I want it to be totally clean. And we also have some stringing. It's not a lot and it would be very easy to fix, but I want also to get rid of that. Let's try to get as much perfectly as we can do. 
but here again it's especially where the travelways are I, I, I have some blocks and here as well it's coming I feel a little bit so let's try to adjust again and this time I want to adjust the, the coast end to one millimeter from 0 0.2 to one millimeter and let's see how how well it will come out then print number three really it looks good and uh, there's very very few what should I say stringing there is minimalism of uh, of blobs I still can feel some here and there so I really want to give it a, a shot on, on the fourth print and adjust uh, both the retraction and the, the coast end settings the last time. And then let us see how, uh, uh, here I have a little blob. And let's see how the, the print comes out when we have done the, uh, uh, this for the fourth time. Let's go to the screen again. Well, let's take a look what we did last time. We had 5.5. I think we'll go to 7.5. And I will increase the coast end with 0 0.2 millimeters. So this means I have a retraction. And I will also increase this to 40. Because the retraction speed maybe needs to, to be a little bit faster as well. So my final settings will be 7.5, 40 millimeters per second and 1.2 millimeters to stop before the, the retraction before the loop ends. This print came out very nice. I think I found the, the perfect settings for this filament. I will uh, enter this data into my filament body the uh, filament body is a simple tool I make, created for uh, keeping track of my filament and the settings. I will put a link below, you can use it, it's totally free. Um, uh, there's no hats or cats behind it, it's just sharing tools I'm doing for myself as well. You will also in the filament body find um, a lot of free sliders, links to a lot of free sliders. But just follow, follow the the description in the, in, in the filament body and you can register all your filament. So I think this is uh, great, it really looks good and uh, I will take some close up from this before this video ends. And my next video will be how to print with a 0.8mm nozzle on the Van Hal D9. So stay tuned for uh, more videos. Bye bye.